From the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. Authorities are reporting this morning success in what they call the biggest ever international operation against the lucrative form of cybercrime. Police coordinated by the European Union's Justice Agency have taken down computer networks responsible for spreading ransomware via infected emails. The Hague-based Eurojust says police arrested four high-value suspects, took down more than 100 servers and seized control of over 2,000 internet domains. The huge takedown this week involved coordinated raids in Germany, the Netherlands, France, Denmark, Ukraine, the UK, and the U.S. Police in Ottawa made arrests yesterday, eight of them, as anti-war protesters staged demonstrations outside a defense industry trade show that some were hoping to shut down. Demonstrators called for an end to increased military spending. Several dozen people gathered on the sidewalks and the road leading to the trade show, shouting shame at attendees and accusing them of supporting genocide. The University of Toronto's request for a court order to clear a pro-Palestinian encampment on its downtown campus isn't expected to be heard for another three weeks, June 19th and 20th. The Ontario Superior Court's timetable was set in order to allow the respondents a fair chance to make their case. Canadian press reporter John Kennedy says the timeline won't resolve the school's concerns before convocation ceremonies begin in early June. The university wants to end the encampment that was set up on May 2nd and is asking the courts to authorize police action to remove protesters who refused to leave after trespass orders were issued. The university argues the encampment prevents others from accessing and enjoying school property and poses health and safety risks. A fifth girl accused in the death of a homeless man in Toronto's downtown core 18 months ago is expected to plead guilty to manslaughter later next month. Four other girls are expected to enter guilty pleas in the coming days and weeks. Eight girls were charged with second-degree murder in the December 2022 stabbing death of Kenneth Lee. Jurors in Donald Trump's hush money trial have asked to rehear the testimony from former Trump attorney Michael Cohen and former National Enquirer publisher David Pecker. The jury will also rehear the judge's instructions this morning and then resume deliberations. Sources say Trump's lawyers are optimistic after hearing the jury wants to rehear testimony from Cohen, a possible sign they want to examine his credibility. We want chaos. We want evidence of strong disagreements, a person close to Trump's legal team tells ABC News. But sources say Trump's legal team did not react positively after finding out jurors want to rehear testimony from Pecker, who linked the catch and kill agreement to Trump's presidential campaign. Trump denies the affair. Mother Teresa could not beat those charges, but we'll see. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, the Edmonton Oilers battled back from an early 2-0 deficit to beat the Dallas Stars 5-2 Wednesday night and even the NHL's Western Conference Final at two games apiece. Oilers star Leon Dreisaitl scored his team's fourth goal. He says it took a little while for Edmonton to get going. Found our legs, got going a little bit, uh, started to play our game and stayed fresh, rolled lines and um, obviously we are we're a tough team to handle when we play that way. Game five of the best of seven series goes Friday in Dallas. The inaugural PWHL championship, the Walter Cup, goes to Minnesota. The roadside defeated Boston 3 0 in the deciding game of the best of five final. It was a brief appearance for Toronto starter Alec Manoa in Chicago Wednesday night. He left the game after recording just five outs due to elbow discomfort. The Blue Jays' bullpen took over and did a nice job to help Toronto complete its first sweep of the season. The Blue Jays held off the White Sox 3 to 1. From the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press